to show you how to create a purchase order in Dynamics 365 Business Central and then receive against that purchase order and then invoice that purchase. So let's take a look at it. In Business Central, I can use the menu at the top and go to purchase orders, but also anywhere in the system I can use Alt Q. It'll bring up a lookup like this. I can type in what I'm looking for, tab off of it, and I'll get a list of related topics. So let's go to purchase orders here. I'm going to add a new purchase order. I'll click on new. I'm going to look up the vendor. Select this one here. And then I'm going to look up the item I want. I'll pick this swivel chair here. I'm going to put it into an inventory location, main, and the quantity is going to be 10. I can scroll over here. And I can see the pricing on this, the extended pricing. And this is based on other transactions I've had with this particular vendor. So let's just print it out, take a look at it. We'll preview it. This is the standard form that comes with Business Central. Okay, now let's go back to that purchase order and let's receive that purchase order. It's really easy to do. Go back to purchase orders here. Look at the one that we just created. What I want to do is receive off this purchase order. So I'll click on posting, post, select receive. And this will post that item into inventory and make a receipt available to the invoice. Now to invoice that receipt, I go back to the purchase order. I can enter the invoice number from the vendor. I'll go to posting, and post. I'm just going to post the invoice. You can see I have an option to receive an invoice at the same time if I want to. But what I'm doing is a three-way match. I've got the purchase order. I'm going to receive against that. And then I'm going to invoice that receipt. So let's invoice it. Let's take a look at the posted invoice. Here's the transaction right now. This is in accounts payable. It's ready to pay whenever I want to. And that's it. That's the whole process. I entered a purchase order. I received against that purchase order. And then I invoiced that receipt. It's that easy. Thank you.